Hey guys, just want to show you a real quick video of some of the old traps I have. You remember back in the 80s? Well, for you young guys, you won't remember that, but back in the 70s, 80s, when you know the uh, humane trapping push was on big time, you know, there was a just a slew of of traps that came out trying to, you know, create a, a killer trap that was effective and and easy to use, but you know, nothing ever really compared or you know came up to uh, the standards of the Connie Bear trap. But I just want to show you a few here. Now this here trap, this is just a Connie Bear, um, but it was put out one year where you could buy them with the jaws bent like this, I guess to fit in a, a muskrat hole or something a little better, but it really, really didn't take off very well and uh, I think they only produced them for one or two years. Um, but anyways, this here is a trap that I actually bought early 80s and it's a, uh, I used it, I used to have lots of them and actually I didn't even realize I had this one until a couple years ago. I found it and all my junk that I'd moved from Ontario 15 years ago. Now this was um, a trap that is extremely strong, extremely, well, I guess it's, it's a tough trap to set and you would, uh, like if you were really cold hands and stuff, this would be a dangerous trap because it is, these springs are, are super strong. I'm going to show you here. I've got it set already, but I want to show you. It's a, the problem with it is it's more like a one-way trap. It's, because it, it's, it's only got a pan, it doesn't have a push trigger at all. So an animal would come in like this. Now I'm going to come in from the back side so you can see it. But the yeah, animal steps on this. And this here bar comes down and it's bent over this big bar. Now this was an awesome mink trap. Except for the fact that it was a, you know, pretty much a one-way trap. Now this here is your trigger. See, and for setting it, there's a little notch here in the pan, right there. The big part of the notch is where it's set to go off. This here is a safety because there's a bend on the bottom of the wire and it won't go down when it's like that. So it's designed that way. And then this here bar, like I said, this is one tough trap. It goes up like so. But see what I mean? Like already the the trigger has popped right out of it and it's just a trap that I used when I was young but I ended up just going back to Connie Bears because it was just much safer and, and whatnot. And this next trap, if anybody out there can tell me what it's called I have no idea. I know it came in a few different set sizes. This is probably the smallest one, but it's, it's just the goofiest mechanism I've ever seen. So this here bar, this would be your striker bar, and uh, it squeezes down. This bar goes like so, goes down there, this little wire I don't know if you can see that. This little wire hooks up onto the edge of that striker bar. And it's designed, I guess, for an animal to come in like so. You just trigger, you bend this trigger. I mean, this trigger bends like nothing, see. But animal comes in like so, lifts up on it, pushes, releases the striker bar. And I mean, there's it grabs like that. Now there's quite a bit of force on this and as you uh, an animal struggles it actually gets tighter and tighter and tighter. So it's not a, it does not strike hard but boy oh boy it, it has got a grip on my arm. My hands already going numb. So I mean it was kind of a cool trap but just I can't imagine ever using it. And like I said I've got a couple of these but if anybody knows what they're called just Send me a message and let me know because I can't remember. Now this is the, 
this trap is hilarious because when I was 21 years old, I, I made a trap myself, just welded it together, and it was almost identical to this, except like a mink size one. This here is for beaver. And it is one goofy setup also. So you've got this big deal here. This is the trigger in the bar, the striker bar, okay? Triggers down here. Now these two guys, I could only guess, see they lock into place over here, straight up and down, and on this side. And now this I can only imagine is to push down into the ground so that this trap sits level. But then you've got your springs hanging way up in the air with these two big rings on them. So I imagine you put stakes through there to hold it in place. Now, the trigger system is it's got a, a dog release like a Connie bear, but it doesn't go from on top, it goes from the side. Okay, I'm going to release these here things because they're. this one again too, the springs are extremely strong. It is just so awkward to set, but I imagine they had a setter that went with it. So this trigger goes down, locks onto, or the dog locks onto this trigger sideways, and if it's pushed either way, it springs. Then these release here, and this striker bar is forced straight down, and again, I can't imagine that it's strong enough to kill on impact, but it's a holding device. Holds them uh, animals there and just eventually suffocates them. So if anybody knows what this thing again is called too, because I've never seen one of these before. And, and it's, like I said, just really funny because I, I built one myself that was almost identical to this, except like I said, only about six inches square instead of what looks like about 10 by 14. So just wanted to show you them a few traps. If anybody can help me out with the names, that would be great. All right. Thanks.